Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing one of the most capable perpetual calendar watches you can buy from Debitun. This is the DB25 Perpetual Calendar, 44 millimeters in rose gold. The watch measure is a surprisingly svelte 12.3 millimeters thick, so about as thick as the Daytona. It's 51.3 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and it's 24 millimeters between the lugs. I'll throw this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference, and you can see that it is a large watch, but in profile, it's actually slipping underneath my cuff, which means this is a surprisingly appropriate watch for formal attire. It's big, make no mistake, and you're going to have to like the big watch style, but the fit is excellent, down to about 15 centimeters circumference wrist size, and it is surprisingly flat, given that it's automatic and a perpetual calendar. So the timepiece is equipped with a black matte finish, large rectangular scale alligator leather strap. You can see it has a monotone stitch, a sheer cut edge showing the layers of leather, and then round scale alligator on the bottom. So gator on both sides makes for a more durable, longer lasting strap. More expensive, but a watch like this is definitely worth that investment. We have a simple pin buckle that you can see is a combination of polish and satin. And then we have lovely but conventional lugs. This is not the floating lug DB28 design that some folks love and some folks leave. If you think that the Debitun line is just too Star Trek for you, then you want a DB25. We have solid dials, we have conventional lugs, but you'll note that the lugs are not without art as they're lovely thin, extended, they come to a point, there's a little torpedo-like tip on the edge, the last design vestige of the original DB1 chronograph from 2002, and the lugs are also open and airy, wonderful sculptural form. The case band is defined by the junction of the mid case with the bezel and the case back that creates a character line through the middle. It's all of high polish. We have a crown that's polished outboard with drillings on the side that act as knurling. On the dial side, you note that it is a gorgeous guilloche center with a rosette that splays out. It's done on a real rose lathe, reductively, not stamped. And Debatoon makes its own cases, dials, and movements. As with Montrejourne, it is a fully integrated manufacturer. Now we have a silver chaptering outboard. You can see this uh, ring features the radially arrayed blue printed Roman numerals, as well as blue printed minute scale outboard. And then we have fired blue titanium leaf style hands. We have a fired blue base underneath a spherical moon phase. The moon phase has an adjustment interval of once every 1,112 years, and it is patented. It is one half white palladium, one half fired blue steel. You have a little indicator beneath that, and we'll demonstrate how the watch works. But the watch features a day, a date, a month, a moon, and a leap year phase indicator. It also includes a quick set mechanism that allows you to rapidly cycle the date as well as the month. Turn it all over, and we have an automatic caliber. Now, this is an automatic wonder with a five-day power reserve. It is manufactured. It's caliber 2324, and there's a lot going on. First of all, you can see that the balance is made of titanium masses, and excuse me, platinum masses outboard and a titanium yoke. So the yoke itself is non-annular, so it's not a ring. It's more like a, a cruciform profile or battle axe horizontally opposed. Think two double-sided battle axes horizontally opposed. That's exactly what you have here. The idea is to limit the effect of temperature on timing and also to put as much of the mass of the balance outboard as possible for better resistance to concussions and knocks that can change the timing of the watch. Now we have an enormous lever arm for the winding system with a platinum mass and a fired blue titanium arm. You can see that the rotor has a center with a bearing protected by cantilevered shock protection springs that feature little jewels built into them to reduce friction against the rotor. So it is a shock protected rotor and that system is patented. We have twin self-adjusting mainspring barrels also patented and one, two, three shock protection springs. This is the triple parachute shock protection system. It is there for the sake of durability, yes, but also for chronometry to more rapidly recenter the balance staff in its pivot jewel after a shock. We have a two element hairspring that's shaped by hand and then clamped together and this creates the 
shock resistance and thin profile of a flat hairspring, but with the concentric breathing in every position of an overcoil. And once again, it is a very contemporary movement, pivoting on 47 joules and beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is a perpetual calendar, which means it does not need to be reset until the year 2100. It can adapt to changes that include irregular length months as well as leap years. Reach out to T. Masso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. One final detail, it's 30 meters water resistant, but that's a theory better not tested.